You're watching Fishmonger Jim. Yeah. Alright, so here I have a uh, spoke shave that I bought down at where? Barnegat Light. Viking Village, Barnegat Light, they had like a swap meet or flea market or something. So, oh, I bet you can't guess what I'm going to be doing with this. That's right. We'll see if we can't get an edge on this. And then I'm going to do something else that I've been wanting to do for a while that is, I mean, it's just kind of creative. And before I start my next project, after this one here, um, I just do something for uh, the sake of doing it. No other reason than I want to do it. Yeah, so this blade is right dull. Yeah, you can see. There we go. It's real dull. Let's see, I got paper here. Oh! There's instructions to the camera that you're watching this out of the, uh, the accessories. Yeah. Oh, it would help if I tested the right edge, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just appalling. It's appalling. So, coarse stone, plenty of mineral oil. So this steel is, at, it's harder than a coffin nail. I would put it right up in the realm of as hard as woodpecker lips. And that took a real long time to get to that level of uh, doneness. Uh, an hour, an hour and six minutes I've been working on this thing. And I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty sharp in a minute. I mean, that's, that's what I would call scary sharp. That right there is scary sharp. Oh my goodness. Oh man. That's so rewarding. An experience to take something as dull as this thing was, as, as you know, it was discarded. It was in a drawer somewhere in somebody's shop. And, um, yeah, I got myself a spoke shave now. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Well, I guess I gotta use it now, huh? Oh, that's not good. There's a little bit of chunk action going. Oh, I got just the thing. Uh, how about it? I got it right here, too. There's a little bit of deformed metal. Um, right jaw, right there, so, oh, how does this come apart, and do I really want to, oh no, that's easy. Wow, that's in bad shape right there. Um, So as I said, I've never set the blade in one of these, or used it for that matter. So... Seems to me it would be useful for uh, profiling an edge on something like that, right? And getting it flat. If we can get it flat, that's a good start, huh? <coughs> so it's not real good at taking a full face cut here, but it does seem to uh, work on the, the side. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. 
Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I don't know why. I wasn't expecting it to work this well. <laughs> um... Great for making kindling too. I don't even think I need to try it on the on the what? Uh, pine. Yeah, if it's working on this, it's gonna work on pine. All right, I'm done with that project. So for no other reason than I want to, and that I have the. Uh, the fish skin leather that's already been tanned. Yeah. Just off cuts, little off cuts. I would assume normally would go in the trash for most people. How dare you? Well, I am not most people. I don't have to tell you that. Well, I figured, hey, you know what? I use this thing. This is my, uh, my storage container for <clears throat> my gouges. Cover it in leather. So I started uh, working on the, my next uh, scabbard project, and the first thing that I kind of had to do today is cut out on the table saw some blanks, right, for a couple of fillet knives. Uh, different project, but a few things scare me more than using the table saw. Like if you have it if you have it up on the table, it's one thing, but leaning over that thing with the blade all the way extended in order to uh, I mean essentially mill these down. Yeah, it's kinda terrifying. That blade spinning around makes you think real hard about not being not bleeding at the moment. All right? Yeah, so far so good. That's what I had in mind. Little Frankenstein creation there so far, huh? It is not easy to get into to get into uh, the SD card with the oh what's it called the media mod package that speaker that or the microphone and um, case that I got from the Amazonians. Hey, you guys have any any items like that you hold on to that have meaning to you, but they would require. A whole lot of explanation for somebody to really understand what it what it means like they'd look at it and be like what the hell are you saving this for I imagine you guys have stuff like that if you, you think about it if you do leave me in a leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you have so I've I have 
this piece of wood here. Now this piece of wood uh, it used to be um, angular and dimensional. It has been smoothed out big time. This is James's woods, wood. This piece of wood I used when I was a teenager to, to level ice out at a fish company that I used to work for here in South Jersey. That thing has been with me a very, very, very long time. And I found it just recently when I was moving here, moving. That's one of those things. This right here will likely become one of those things. Like, what, I mean, maybe Dylan gets this and maybe somebody asks him one day, the hell do you have a, a, uh, a tea tin that's covered in fish skin leather for? That'd be a hell of a story, wouldn't it? Looks good though. Wait till you see. No. Look at you. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> 